Hi, my mailbag videos are normally about me unboxing stuff I get in the mail, but I thought I'd just add in some of the projects I have on the back burner, such as a digital trumpet. <laughs> on second thoughts, let me just see what I've got in the mail. Hi, this video is sponsored by JLC PCB. Unlike my trumpet playing, JLC PCB makes some pretty decent PCBs. They can make anything that you can throw at them, from simple two layer boards, all the way up to multi layer boards supporting BGAs. So if you're looking to produce some professional high quality PCBs with a fast turnaround time, then check them out. Of course, you can still order 10 PCBs for only $2, with a $20 shipping discount on your first order. That's a pretty insane price. So I need to get back to practicing my trumpet. Where the heck's my trumpet? Oh, some buggers pinched my trumpet. Where's my trumpet? Okay, so we've only got uh, one package. Nice. Okay, so the uh, M5 stack guys uh, contacted me a while ago to see if I wanted to test out uh, one of their M5 stacks. So here it is. So the uh, M5 stack, it's basically an ASP32 uh, with a couple of other uh, things added in, uh, such as uh, LiPo, battery management, LCD screen, um, all the GPIOs are pushed out. I think there actually might be a couple extra. Oh no, there's uh, just the standard ESP32. I've got TF card, reader, USB Type-C, which is nice. Power Reset, Grove, ITC, uh, CP2104. It's basically got everything that you would expect to use uh, in an ESP32 development environment, all in a uh, nice little package. So that's pretty neat, actually. All right, let's uh, go to the website and have a look at what we can do with it. And there you have it, programmed up uh, without any issue. <coughs> okay, so I had uh, a bit of issue, but uh, that was mainly due to my Mac not being able to install the CP2104 serial driver. So anyway, uh, it works fine on Linux, and there you go, Flappy Bird. Oh, nice. Oh, game over. Okay, I'll press a button. Okay, I'm really no good at these games. Hey, I got it. Okay, there's a bit of, um, uh, there's a few graphics issues there. New high score, one, excellent. Okay, uh, let's uh, try out these GPIOs. Okay, uh, let's fire up a, a simple uh, servo motor, see how that goes. And let's try G5. Looks like a good PWM to use. Okay, uh, now let's fire up some sort of magic code. So of course uh, it worked as expected. I could uh, drive the servo motor without any problem. It's essentially a NASP32, so everything should work uh, without problems. One of the issues I had was with a lot of these products, documentation, especially the onboarding or the, the quick start guides, aren't so good. But look, as a, as a product, it's, it's pretty rock solid. 
Um, I don't have uh, any issues with it. It's a nice solid product. You get a nice little battery in there and you get all the GPIOs. You can expand it out. They've got a whole lot of different modules you can tack on like GPS modules and do all sorts of things. Pretty decent little unit. Um, and for anyone who actually wants to be able to make something that is in a nice snazzy case, uh, then yeah, you've got everything that you need. And also a USB Type-C, which is nice. Thanks guys, uh, the M5 guys for sending me that. Okay, so the next thing, one of the projects I have uh, going at the moment is of course uh, my Super Duper and I've got a competition on uh, at the moment. This board is the first run of several. Um, so the Super Duper is essentially a logger. Um, it'll log to two SD cards. Um, it's a simple SAM D21, so it's nothing special. It has space for uh, a LoRa module and also an Atmel Wi-Fi module. Um, I've got a bucket load of ESD protection on it, USB coming in, uh, LiPo battery support, 100 milliamp charge current, it can change that. So I put a fair bit of effort into this board. Uh, the intent was to make it as rugged as possible. The use case would be a central logger where you could log data from devices uh, via LoRa or Wi-Fi and it would just sit there and run and you can either back up to one or both SD cards. There's space for a display so it's both I2C and SPI. Um, there's also a spare UART. I'm designing a couple of daughter boards to house uh, several different displays. But there's also a little buzzer in there as well. So copying data on the SAMD21 is fairly slow. I need to write some drivers and I'll be writing uh, DMA based SPI drivers for uh, SAMD21 which is Surprisingly, no one has written one. The boards are accessible by the Arduino IDE um, and I'm working on platform I.O. support as well. There's also two other boards I'm looking at designing. Um, the, the next one is the copier. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get decent speeds on the SD cards copying using the SAMD21. So the next board will be a copier. The use case would be copying data from USB or LoRa or Wi-Fi onto SD cards, either direct copy or via uh, virtual. So essentially you'll be able to put in a SD card into one slot and select a number of images and just copy it straight to the other SD card. The next one would be the Super Duper Virtual, uh, which allows you to plug in a USB connection to your PC or over Wi-Fi and present one or two SD ports as a virtual SD card. So then these ports then become SD cards. You'll be able to connect a Raspberry Pi directly up to this and present a virtual SD card directly to a Pi or any other SPC that you want. The image will be stored on a PC and accessible over USB or Wi-Fi. So they're the three boards I have planned. So another project I've got sort of on the back burner is uh, the water shower temperature monitor. Uh, you probably would have seen this uh, in a previous uh, Micmac mailbag. Um, I wasn't able to really get the ESP running because there wasn't enough power essentially. So I've got a couple of NRO52832 Bluetooth modules. Um, I'll try that because they can drop down to I think 1.8 volts. I've got a couple of these uh, modules already attached to uh, the showers and they're, they're pretty good. They show the temperature fairly accurately. Um, so what else do I have? So a couple of weeks ago I bought a bunch of uh, Pi 3B Pluses um, and these you know, really snazzy uh, Lego cases. The intent uh, was to run a series of videos on Docker, which are called DockerFoo, similar to the Linux Foo videos that have been uh, releasing. Docker on this, which would be nice. and. That's something I'll probably release uh, next weekend or probably the weekend after. Thank <laughs> you.